My brothers were both caught in the 9-11 chaos. They said that people were crying out to God, frantically calling loved ones and leaving purses, shoes, and belongings behind as they ran for safety. After the tragedy of 9-11, there was an expansive outpouring of love and kindness, particularly in the New York City area. People lingered more in conversation, extended help and assistance to businesses that were dusted out from the rubble, random acts of kindness flooded the streets of New York City and rippled across the United States. Basically, an instantaneous internal realignment took place in the midst of the brush of death. Many of my friends committed to spending more time with their families. Some moved out of the area into smaller towns. Many switched careers and began businesses that were more aligned with their core values, gifts, and talents. If one of your core values is your family, yet the majority of your time, talent, and treasure is spent on climbing the corporate ladder or expanding your career, you will experience an internal battle that often renders you wide-eyed, staring at your ceiling throughout the night. What do you value most in this life? The word core, according to dictionary.com, is defined as the most important or main thing. Value is defined as having intrinsic worth. Your core values are those things in life that are most important to you and worth your time, energy, and talent. Some people's core values are left in the dust of unbridled ambition after status and popularity, to the point that their moral compass takes a back seat to an insatiable desire to be seen, acknowledged, and recognized, or simply put, the drug of approval. Near-death experiences usually pop people out of that self-destructive slumber and are often referred to as wake-up calls. Wake up to what you value most before it's gone. Now pause for a moment. Breathe in deeply and release any tension in your body. Today, write down five of your core values. Think about the moments in life when you experienced happiness and contentment, a sense of safety and connection, those things that perhaps you would have wanted to invest more time, talent, and energy into from the perspective of living life backwards. I refer to this as the deathbed wisdom exercise for clarity around what you value most at the core or center of who you are and the person you desire to be on this journey of life. Make these core values your screensaver on your phone, iPad, and computer for the next 30 days. When you do what you do at work and at home, make it a priority to incorporate at least two of your core values into your activities.